In today's video, we are going to talk about Kali Linux versus Parrot OS, which is best for ethical hacking. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, Linux has been known for its various distribution with different desktop environments that cater to various needs for different kind of Linux users. Kali Linux is one of such a renowned and famous Linux distribution. This Linux distribution is considered great for ethical hacking and penetration testing. Since Kali's release, we have seen it going through various iterations in the form of its updates and versions. While other cybersecurity, penetration and ethical hacking related Linux distributions were also being developed around the world. In this video, I'll compare Kali Linux to one such distribution that has become very prominent and has come under the spotlight and it is known as Parrot OS. If you have a grasp of your skills on either of these operating system, it will gear you closer to become qualified and certified ethical and cyber security expert. So first of all, I'll start with the Kali Linux and then I'll move towards the Parrot OS and then at the end, we'll have conclusion for this video. Kali Linux basically is a Debian based Linux distro which is directed at ethical hacking, penetration testing and security auditing. While Kali includes more than 600 pre-installed tools that are equipped with different data security tasks like security research, penetration testing, web application testing, computer forensics and reverse engineering. Other than that, Kali Linux is produced and managed by Offensive Security, which is a well-known and leading information security training organization. As you see here under the information gathering section, we have DNS analysis, IDS, IPS identification, live host identification, network and port scanners, and a lot of things. Other than that, we have also more categories in here. And in all these categories, we have further classification of all these. So let's say we have password attacks. So in terms of password attacks, we have all these services that are available as pre-installed in Kali Linux. And that makes it very powerful for ethical hacking and penetration testing. By default, we get the XFCE desktop environment with the support of custom theme and app menu. As you can see in app menu, we have different categories. If I go to my all application here, I have all application and these are different categories. And in each category, we have different application. Now, if I talk about the default installer of Kali Linux, well, it provides the meta packages that also bundle similar type of software together. So if you only want the core components that are needed to run the Kali Linux desktop, you can install the GUI version that I'm using. Or if a graphical interface is a bit excessive for you, you can go for the headless option as well. Now I will talk about some of the prominent features of Kali Linux here. Multi-language assistance. Well, most of the penetration tools are served to be written in English to extend the practice of those users who are non-native in terms of English. And because of that, Kali Linux has included an involved and accurate multi-language guide and it provides more users with the freedom so that they can perform in their regional language and determine the tools they require for work. Other feature is fully customizable. Well, Kali Linux allows you to customize the desktop and interface of it. Here, if I right click on my screen, here we have desktop settings. From here, you can do a lot of stuff in terms of changing your desktop and interface. You can change the background, you can set your menus, icons and a lot more stuff. The next good feature about Kali Linux is broad ranging wireless device support. While Kali Linux holds as many wireless devices as possible it can and it enables it to run correctly on a good diversity of hardware and getting it harmonious with a lot of USB and other wireless devices on this Linux distribution. The last feature which is very prominent with Kali Linux that I'm going to talk about is 
custom kernel that covered for injection was as you might have an idea that as an ethical hacker and penetration tester we usually got to do wireless evaluation and testing so kali linux kernel has the foremost advanced injection application now i'll talk about the hardware requirements to install kali linux well you should have at least 1 gigabytes of ram and 20 gigabytes of hard drive in terms of installing this one onto your hardware 2 gigabytes ram is recommended for the better performance now let's talk about how much resources this distribution require for that i'll open my terminal and in my terminal i'll use a utility known as top here as you can see my kali linux is using around 680 megabytes of ram at this moment here we have all the processes users of those processes and then we have the percentage of resources that are being used by each process so that shows that kali linux is not as heavy on my hardware resources as some other linux distribution would have and that shows that if you have a limited hardware resources you can still go for kali linux and that brings us to the end of kali linux now let's move towards the parrot os and let's see what does it has to offer us well this is how parrot os look like parrot os is much like kali linux it is also a linux distribution based on debian it means that code repositories adhere to development standards of debian and by default it comes with the mate desktop environment but you can also choose kde plasma or xfce parrot os2 comes with its own collection of ethical hacking penetration testing and security related tools and you can also find most of these tools on kali linux as well so most of those tools that you will find in kali linux you will also find those in parrot os as well parrot os was developed by a team of security experts and open source developer the security addition includes the kind of tools you would expect from any linux distributions that is devoted to mitigate the attacks and conducts the vulnerability assessments obviously it saves you the hassle of installing many of such applications yourself the security addition limits your choice to mate and plasma desktop environment while well, basically in parrot os we get three addition i have already discussed the security addition the other one is home addition it is a general purpose operating system and it possesses the typical parrot look and feel and that addition is designed for daily use software development privacy etc and parrot tools can be manually installed to assemble a custom and lightweight penetration testing environment in the home addition of parrot os as well the third addition of parrot os is iot and cloud applications in that addition parrot security addition is a special purpose operating system that is designed for penetration testing and red team operation and you will also find ready to use penetration testing tools in it when it comes to general tool and functional features parrot os takes the lead when we compare it to the kali linux distribution Parrot OS has all the necessary tools that are available in Kali Linux and you can also add some of your needed tools there are several tools that you will find on Parrot OS that are not available in Kali Linux and I'll show you some of the prominent one well if I click on my applications here in the pen testing section here we have a lot of tools that we can use for example for web application analysis we have several tools that we can use then we have exploitation tools maintaining access password attacks and if you remember we also had password attack in our kali linux as well then you have your wireless testing and a lot more other things that you can perform with the help of parrot os the main difference is you can download and install some of your own needed tools in parrot os unlike the kali linux now i'll talk about the hardware resources that are needed to install parrot os well you should have at least 320 megabytes of ram and 16 gigabytes of hard drive in order to install it 1 gigabyte of ram is recommended for smooth use and now if we talk about the resource usages i'll open my terminal in my parrot os and again i'll use the utility known as top Here as you can see it is also using around 680 megabytes of ram at this moment 
It is confirmed from here that in terms of hardware resource usage, Kali Linux and Parrot OS are almost same. We do not have any major difference in terms of hardware resource usage. So it is all up to you which one to use if we talk about hardware resource usages. So that was all about the Parrot OS, but the question still remains. Which of these two distribution is better than the other? In case if you already know the basics of Linux and want to get your hands dirty on an operating system to learn ethical hacking, I would recommend you using the Parrot OS because its light version comes with very minimum networking tools. This means as soon as you learn your ethical hacking concept slowly and clearly, you can install those needed tools one by one instead of having all of them from the beginning. Not only this will hinder your performance and this will also allow you to evolve as an ethical hacker and penetration tester, but it will also make sure that your fundamental needs are built in a manner. So to conclude my video, I would personally recommend the Parrot OS over Kali for one reason. The default user of Kali is root and this makes the whole environment of Kali Linux a lot more aggressive. And in case if there are any mistakes, they tend to be a whole more difficult to deal with. So that is why you should stick with Parrot OS. But if you are an experienced user and you know how to deal with Linux distributions and their problem, then there is no alternative of Kali Linux. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.